Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for the 15th through the 31st. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like. If you like the video, share it. Subscribe to the channel. And thank you to all of my um, current subscribers for supporting me. Thank you guys so very much. Let's see what we've got for you guys. What's going on around my Aquarius for the 15th through the 31st? What energy is around my Aquarius? Okay. Ten of Swords. Feeling betrayed. Had enough of something here. Um, I feel like there's been some mental exhaustion that you guys are um, have been feeling. But I feel that you are getting over this because it's like you're not looking for someone else to make things right uh, for you or with you. You're using your own mind, your own intellect to maneuver through um, some hardships here. Let's see. This Gemini energy was crossing my Aquarius. Leo energy with the strength there. Was crossing you. Is having restraint. I feel that um, there's a little bit of a confrontational energy. Um, with you guys, but I feel like you're holding yourselves back from actually acting on an impulse. Okay. Let's see. What is the underlying issue for my Aquarius? Your emotions are all over the place. They're all over the place. There's a lot that you don't know that you're trying to figure out. Okay. You're, you're trying to, I think, figure out um, the way somebody else is feeling. Hmm. The person that you're dealing with may have um, some issues stemming from childhood even here. Or you guys may have some issues um, stemming from your childhood that you haven't quite gotten over that's affecting your current relationships. Card fell out on the floor there. Let's see what that is. Um, I picked it up upside down, but um, it's the Empress. So I feel like the whole mother or childhood um, issue is definitely at play here for you guys, whether it's something dealing with your childhood or the person that you're thinking about, their childhood. There, there are definitely, um, because that parent is turned upside down, so I f I'm feeling like um, a situation is not so good with the Empress. There's no growth. There's um, feeling of having no support in this situation, okay? So maybe the person you're dealing with um, does not trust the opposite sex um, very much, okay? And that's probably because of how uh, their childhood was, what they experienced. Let's see what was going on in the recent past. Another Leo energy here with the sun. I feel that um, a lot of ego was at play here. But in the recent past, I feel like there were some events that kind of made you um, think positive about this situation. And I almost feel like, you know, you guys feel tricked or deceived. Maybe you thought a situation was one way and it really wasn't. Um, and it, it really has you like feeling down in the dumps right now, currently, but you're using, you know, a lot of restraint to keep yourself from like overreacting or c confronting this person. Okay. Let's see. I do feel a lot of mental manipulation going on in your situation. What are your crowning thoughts? Yeah, the world, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy there. I feel that in your mind, it's like, you know, 
this is an old song and dance for you and I'm I'm feeling that you know I've experienced this before I'm not a stranger to this type of behavior and I'm getting that you've learned your lesson you've learned your lesson in this situation and you're ready to move on you're ready to start over I don't know if you're ready to start over with this person but I definitely get the sense that um, there is a completion here there's something that has been wrapped up it's done okay now it's time to start anew whether it's with this person or not only you guys know but I'm gonna pull the remaining cards to see how this is going but in your mind it's like you know what I'm done I'm over I'm over a situation Let's see what's coming in for Aquarius. What's coming in for Aquarius? Seven of Wands. Leo. Strong Leo in your reading. But what's coming in for you is you standing your ground. You only doing the things that are right for you. Blocking out people if necessary. Blocking this individual if necessary. To keep them from hurting you. To keep them from betraying you. Okay? Because I, I'm getting the feeling that at one point in time this person made you happy. But you feel like it was on false pretenses. Maybe there is a, a mother um, issue with them. Maybe you felt like um, this person was the one. Maybe there is also a baby's mother that is also involved in this situation and you're not that baby's mother. So there's something going on here for sure where I feel like, you know, you, your, your eyes are wide open, okay? And you're standing your ground with this situation. Let's see. How is Aquarius viewing? themselves seven of cups you're quite confused I feel like there's a lot of good memories with this individual um, but I feel that this person has betrayed you um, on every level I feel like they play with your emotions is the way that you're viewing things um, maybe there are definitely other people or another person involved in this situation but I, I think your emotions are are in an upheaval currently and you're ready to walk away and leave this behind I do feel like you also have options this person regardless if their ego is is huge and feel like they are the end-all be-all um, not for you I don't I don't get that I feel like you have options yourself okay and you're looking out onto the horizon what's the influence here for Aquarius there he is the knight of wands I feel like this individual constantly comes in and out they're not reliable they're not reliable um, this person may have moved away from you, but um, I don't I don't see you allowing them back. I feel like this is a fina finality for you here. Um, I don't feel you will put up with this any longer. I feel like it's a done deal for this person because they're not reliable. They're constantly in and out. I feel like you're very attracted to them though. Definitely Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is very strong in your reading. Um, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Scorpio is here as well. Taurus. Hmm. Hopes or fears for Aquarius. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. I think that... Um, you know, you're not really that fond of being 
single and away from this person but I feel like you know this was best for you this is a new chapter I feel like and I and I think that is what you're fearing that um, you're moving into a space where you're not with in a relationship with this person and you have this newfound singledom that is a little confusing and kind of scary for you but um, I think at a certain point you will um, gain your confidence and your stability and embrace um, what you've been dealt okay and continue to grow stronger from that because there's a lot that you've learned a hell of a lot that you've learned and um, and part of that is knowing how to maneuver through the pain and feel whatever feelings that you are experiencing to get through it okay Let's see. <clears throat> what is the overall outcome for Aquarius? Three of Wands. Knowing that you've done all that you can do. All that you can do. And waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for that new beginning. I feel you guys are getting to a point where you're ready to start over. And embark on an adventure to be honest with you because I think this is something new for you being single but I don't get that you'll be single for long though because you're waiting on someone and I don't think it's a person that's in and out I think this is a new start for you this is a new start for you I feel Scorpio um, Taurus, Aquarius, for sure. Could be an Aries, Leo, but um, you're waiting on a new beginning. And I don't think it's with this individual. I feel like your ships are definitely coming in. You just have to kind of be patient um, and, you know, just take the lessons that you've learned and um, and apply them. Okay? So that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.